Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 24. All right, the previous episode, um, we saw the different oversouls uh, of the three characters of Yo's team, uh, Foster's oversoul, uh, Dew's oversoul, and Yo's oversoul as well. Uh, we did not go into much details into their power. Uh, Faust kind of showed his power a little bit, uh, but not that much. But Yo uh, showed us his power, a glimpse of it. He used one of the one of the techniques he had. Uh, I can't remember the technique's name, but it basically one-shotted the Iceman. And he, like you know, he kind of told them to actually, like you know, go full all out. Otherwise, this will kind of, like he was sure this was, this is going to bother them, and they will keep going, like keep their pride and keep going in this wrong direction. So that's why Yo said that, yeah, give it your all. I'm also give it, I'm going to give it my all, and let's settle this. And that was definitely the, uh, like you know, the correct decision. Which this is why the Iceman will probably, like you know, like let go of the pride. Otherwise, they'll, they would keep hanging on to that. So it is good that Yo actually did that. So yeah, that's what happened. So this really shows us how immensely powerful uh, the what was the name the Cho Senji no something like I forgot the name uh, I'm sorry guys uh, I'm sure they'll let us know in this episode as well the Cho Senji Rakets or something like that it was the name you know how immensely OP that is we got to know that and then on the next scene we see like you know uh, Ren going out he was bothered being bothered by the fact that Yo was able to get so strong so quickly and how gave him a proposal uh, told him that if you join me i'm going to teach you something that is even better than that you know that's even more stronger than that because i am you know the one who actually made that technique uh the thing that yo is using now so let's see what he does what ren actually decides here you know uh whether he takes house proposal or not and then in the end we see yo confronting um Lyserk. Now, this is one thing that I'm quite interested about how he'll handle this situation. So let's see. Without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number 24 of Shaman King. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. And let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, here it is. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, that's all that matters, you know. And <laughs> that's it. Uh, I guess. <laughs> uh, he 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 he's really bewildered. He's thinking. He's thinking that he's not telling me anything, he's not getting angry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> um what? Oh Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, like, let it all out, you know? I wonder what. Okay. All right. <laughs> like, <laughs> Lazarus is really surprised. He was like, what the hell? Like, he's not telling me anything. He's not getting angry. But yeah, like, <laughs> like we understand. Like, this is Yo. Lazarus has been quite new to the team. So, you know, like, he still doesn't know how Yo works. So, <laughs> so it was kind of normal for him to be surprised. <laughs> My God. Hmm. 
All right. Okay, let's see. Trust no one. Oh, whoa, what the? What's with the title? Hmm. I don't f think Yo kind of feels like that. <laughs> yeah. I think this is also something that he's scared of, like not getting, like not getting blamed. Whoa, what the hell is that? Wait, what? Oh my god. Yeah, it feels like... Oh my god! Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's what's happening. He, they're actually getting physical with him. Oh boy. Oh no! Well, oh great. But there's too many of them. I was going to say that Yo is a lot stronger now, but... Whoa! Wow, this guy's a little bit too paranoid. Okay, thank God. Jen is here. Is, whoa, was she underwater? Oh my god! Ha! Wow, this guy is completely like tunnel visioned. Come on, Marco! Your leader is telling you! Wow. Well, thank God, I guess. <laughs> the peeking out of the... <laughs> oh my God. Nah, that's not that's not the reason. <laughs> um no. How about no? Nah, he's a bit too laid back for that, you know? He'll do it on his own. <laughs> that's the first oh my god. Yeah. Definitely. Oh my god, she's crying. And sh Okay. Okay! Oh! Yeah. <laughs> exactly, that's what I was saying. Like, he's too strong now. Only I... I think probably Jan would be able to counter him. But other than that, none of the... Boy, God. None of the people here could even stand against him. <laughs> yeah.
Damn, Marco, <laughs> like, just calm down, dude. <laughs> My God. Oh, these are house people, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? Read. Oh. Oh, Opacho is like a oracle or something? Hanagumi, okay. <laughs> Mass <Mark> speed. <laughs> okay. Hmm. How gumi, not Hana gumi. Yeah. <laughs> this face. Ooh. Opacho. Um how and who's that guy? We Oshigumi leader. Okay. Ah, this is going to go bad for the X laws. <laughs> yeah, you're fired from the next one. <laughs> Oh, damn. Vinstar. Okay. Let's see. Oh, damn, they're going away. <laughs> well, here's enough for you, you lot. Ha! <laughs> Okay, let's see. Oh, low. Weird girl. Oh! Did, did she call Jun? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, they're gonna get mad. <laughs> He's provoking them. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Okay. What the hell is like a but Metatron Gabriel and Remiel, okay. Nine seven okay. Okay, almost twenty K. Damn, when did it take off his <laughs> Oh, that is a uh... whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my God! Eww. Okay. Is she okay? I don't think she is. Oh my god, she's dead. She's dead. Oh my god. Okay. Whoa, Mata, where is he going? What? Yeah. What? What? Whoa, they're not even bothered that their teammate died. What the hell? Damn. 
Damn, these guys are hardcore. Yeah. Why are they going individually? Like, yeah. Like, what type of justice is that? Like, oh, wait, he okay. Unfortunately, I... Oh... <laughs> yeah... Oh! Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Mm. Did oh, okay, okay. Prove my prediction. What prediction? Oh, okay, that's why they're not bothered. Oh, and they're trying to bring out their his powers to let the others know. You know, like, they're going to die. Yeah, they're going to die, but they're, they're also going to know what house power is. Like, information is, like, knowledge is power, as they say. There you go. Okay. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Hmm. All right. That is it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, they knew that they're going to die. Okay, now I, I changed my mind about them, kind of. Yeah. Softness or kindness are different. What are justice needs more than anything? Yeah, they knew, they knew it. That's why they're not bothered. Oh boy. Uh. Oh god But I don't think anyone was able to understand what happened like it happened so fast Like ah uh. And they attacked individually so that they had more chance to get the secret out, you know? Oh boy. <laughs> and he knew that. <laughs> God. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? Wait, he was successful? Oh, his name is Luckiest, okay. Yeah, oh my god, he just said it! Ha! <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Well, he just said it. Yeah. No, no, I think it's true. Oh, it's both. Okay. Yes, the air, like what? Okay, let's. What? Oh, they won't be able to get in. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, will that work? Modified, okay. Higher proof, bad, okay. Oh, okay. <sighs> oh my god e damn look at that yeah So what happened to how? Nah, he's okay. Yeah, obviously, like... Okay. What, whoa, whoa, what happened? Oh my god. He looks completely like yo. Okay, one thing that kind of like, you know, helped in a way, we, we can, like, you know, we can now probably gauge the amount of power he has because of the sacrifice that, um, what, what was the guy's name? Venstar. Venstar made. And, like, we can see that he has, like, you know, how, 
has used his power to do something i'm still not sure what that is actually you know he probably like you know kind of fused with the uh his spirit of fire i think something like that most probably or something along that line to protect himself so that is out in the open now i guess that's an accomplishment in a way the thing that they tried to do even though it was com not properly accomplished like you know bringing out house power into the light they still were able to do it in one way you know but like just like you know sacrificing three people just to bring out house techniques into light kind of shows us how immensely overpowered how is that otherwise you know otherwise this amount of okay that's it this amount of uh what do you call it determination or uh yeah is needed for actually for them to actually even think about defeating how all right so Okay, I'm going to talk about this one after the other chronologically. Okay, the first, uh, the whole conversation of Lyserk and, um, what's his name? Yo, Lyserk and Yo, and then, okay, so obviously Lyserk was very surprised here because he, yeah, he thought that Yo was probably going to say something regarding, you know, him leaving them or, you know, at least something like even if he didn't get angry at him he, he thought he probably would even like you know kind of mention it at least but <laughs> you just like you know asked him that are you okay like he's like yeah i'm fine you was like okay then like <laughs> have a nice day <laughs> okay yeah and this yeah this really shows like how it's just that he wants the best for lyserk and we can see that there are like you know marks in his collarbone i think that was yeah and that probably shows us how like i doubt they're abusing him that's not what they're doing the exhaust i think what they're do actually doing is is like you know probably some kind of rigorous training exercise or something which is like you know we can we see how the x locks operate like, you know like the, the leader herself kind of is always torturing herself with the iron maiden you know so that kind of shows probably shows us how they themselves train or something you know probably something very harsh very painful they go through for their training exercises or something i think it is probably something like that like he he's just being i don't know like being trained immensely or something like to get him to be, make him more stronger because at first i thought they were like they were abusing him or something i thought at that at the beginning but then when the next like you know in the later scene when we see how they were actually talking to him you know like they said that yeah you are the you know uh, your kindness is needed in our organization i kind of scratched that out i was like nah they're not abusing him it's probably something else uh or maybe it was just like you know like i, I can see that marco hits him quite a few times uh, or maybe it was just marco actually hit him or something and that that mark was probably something like that I'm not so sure but yeah it's probably something like that and <clears throat> yeah okay so they have a little conversation and I'm, I'm glad actually that they had this conversation because uh i'm I was, I was like you know you wouldn't have any problem with this but i'm sure like elisa would probably feel guilty about this whole situation you know like as he said like you know he himself said that i feel as if i were betraying you you know not letting you know anything kind of doing stuff on my own without letting you know even though you helped me Mm, I feel like betraying you. So it's like you know, like if they actually did not have this conversation, this whole thing would probably still be in his mind and bother him all the way. So that's why I'm saying that it was good that they came and had a little conversation. I don't think this will bother him anymore. I hope so at least. So yeah, it's, as as Yo said, you know, like the only thing that matters is you are doing what you want to, and you know you are okay. So yeah. I have no other problem. Okay, and then uh, you know, like they confront, they get confronted by Jun and the other X-Laws. 
and uh, like one thing i can probably say from here is like marco is a little bit jumpy <laughs> you know a little bit too hard on probably himself and on the uh, all all the others as well because we can see how you know like he is a bit gets a little bit too physical and that's probably just him like you know his personality and kind of like you know i don't know like it's kind of well it kind of bothers me to see him suddenly like you know like raise hand and like hit lyserk that's both that is bothering me and yo was also bothered with that but as i said i think that's probably just him he he's that type of personality it's just too hard on others and probably himself as well so yeah and that that thing also probably pissed you off as well and i i like i noticed one thing here mm, jun is a bit soft on lysak i think so or maybe she's just soft on all the others and maybe marco just takes things a little bit too much like i i was i thought i was under the impression that jun like you know was probably like marco you know like uh, too hard on the different like you know all, on all the others and something but it seems pretty reasonable i think in my opinion like you know like at least according to their standards she seems a lot reasonable at least more than marco so yeah like you know like we saw like whenever like uh, like was his, marco was like you know pointing the gun at your uh <clears throat> Jen was like, no, like put your gun down. Uh, like I just want to talk with him, but he was still not listening. Something like it because of that. And also in the later portions, we see when, you know, like uh, I don't know. Like I, I don't know. I, I kind of feel that way. Like you know, like Marco takes thing a bit too far, and Jen probably stops him whenever she sees that or something. Anyways, and yeah, like we see Yo's power again here. And that's what I said. Yo is a little bit too strong for, you know, to get defeated by the ex laws, the other members. But I think like she, uh, he, and Jun are probably on par in power level. They probably same to same. So if she, if he fights with Jun, that'll probably be a very neck to neck fight. Uh, otherwise, all the ex laws, yeah, they, they don't like you know they they they're nowhere near yo at least with the power he has now. Okay, that was that, and then in the next scene we see uh, Hanagumi, those three girls, uh, three girls, yeah, them easily defeating the others, some you know some characters who are fighting, and then comes the main match of this episode that is how opacho and i can't remember the guy's name those three versus the x3 and all right now here's the thing uh as soon as the girl died okay what doesn't mean i think that was her name yeah as soon as she died uh they were not now this is where it kind of threw me off you know like i was thinking like are they really that much of a what can i say like heartless that is like even though their friend died they wouldn't be bothered by it like you know like she died and they were like analyzing the things so here's the thing actually um, this is basically looking at the situation through different perspective at that moment i was unaware of the fact that they had the whole conversation of yeah we are going to die so we are going to try our best to bring out house power you know and let others know i was like obviously they did not show us that and that's why i was unaware of that fact that's why as soon as that i saw that scene i, I said that oh, oh my god like what are they like are they like heartless or like they're not even bothered by it and even uh how himself was kind of like you know how said that what, what like you you're not bothered by your you know friend's death and and that's why I said like, oh my god, these guys are bad and like, you know, these guys are uh, uh, you know, like heartless or stuff like that. Then comes like, you know, they kind of show us that they always knew they're going to die. But even though they knew that, they decided to die. Like they, they got in the ring knowing that they're going to die. That's what they did. Their main goal here was to 
bring out house power into light so that the other members who are going to fight later they are able to do some damage at least you know knowledge is power as they say so <clears throat> that's why now after knowing that now obviously like you know like i like i've completely changed my mind of because of that because this is something that is really what can i say like they they knew that they're going to die they conquered their fear of death and even though they knew that they won't be alive after this match they got in the ring and they decided to go for their goal you know even if someone else like you know their teammate died i'm sure they felt bad about it but they were focused they were focused on their goal and they also knew that yeah by the end of this not only mina uh, i think that was the name mina or mine uh, not only her, but both of us were also going to die. So yeah, we should do our level best to get house power out and notice what is his secret. What is his intermediary? I think that's what they call it. Yeah. And okay, not only them. The like all the exos knew that this was going to happen, and that they are they won't be alive. So so like. Oh my god. Yeah, like this is something like so that means all the other X laws as well, like they're also going to have to fight them, you know how as well. I think so. I'm not sure how the match is going to go. But if if they fight with how again, they're also going to die. Because uh I'm sure like the all the other participants, you know, after this match, I'm sure what's going to happen is they as soon as they get in the ring if they're unsure about their power they're probably going to say that yeah i forfeit and they are going to like you know go away give up as soon as they get into the ring if they face how because they know they are going to know that yeah we're going to die if we actually go for this so i'm sure they're going to do something like that but the exos won't do that the exos are going to use their life to actually get out more information you know and defeat how as like as much as they can that's what they're going to do so that's what's probably going to happen after this and uh, I'm not sure what match how we'll be fighting next, but yeah, like we'll have to wait for that. And here we see uh, Spirit of Fire's power, which was kind of vague. Still, we still don't know what it is about. He, he one thing we know, he's very fast. He can kind of like you know like not even like they can't keep up with him. It's so fast. That's one thing. They use oxygen as the intermediary. I think that's what they call it. Hmm where is it intermediary yeah uh he, he used oxygen as the intermediary and what else um, and that that uh, uh nothing else i think i think that's it probably and he can just one shot characters that's another thing you know Okay, so <clears throat> now, okay, one thing. Okay, Yo, all this time, you can see that obviously he does not like this, this whole thing of killing the, like, you know, different, like all the characters, killing them and the thing that how is doing yo is not okay with that and not only yo but all the other you know like all the other characters as well like manta and them so now yo i'm sure yo knows that he, even though if, if he tries to go and stop this he'll just get stopped by the uh what what, what are they called the officials Worst, if, if worst comes to, um, like, you know, if w the worst thing ha that could happen is like he gets disqualified. And if he gets disqualified, that's over. You know, nothing else he can do. So I'm sure he's, he's like, you know, kind of keeping it in. Like Manta was saying something like, ooh, ooh. like, you know, like, what was he saying? Just a sec. Yeah, yet you want me to keep quiet and just watch you. Like, that's what Imanta is saying. But Imanta needs to realize, like, first of all, what can he do? 
he cannot do anything he, like he can just go down and just you know tell them to stop it that's all that he could do now like as i said Dio could probably break through that thing and go and try to stop them but what's going to happen he's going to just going to get disqualified and if he gets disqualified it's over uh you uh, how is going to become the shaman king and yeah that's it <laughs> so, so yeah like uh, getting heated up over here is kind of like you know like obvious i am i think like you know like like they're, they're just killing people so i'm guessing you know like that is something that obviously manta and they won't be able to uh keep quiet about but yeah this this is not the correct time like they need to keep it in and wait for the time like when they're going to fight how that's when they need to actually unleash all the rage they have you know accumulated and yo is pretty pissed off i can see that here so <clears throat> now the thing that uh he did uh the guy who sacrificed himself uh, the thing that he did was he used the grenade to take up all the oxygen now i'm not sure what how did to counteract that like because in theory it kind of seemed like yeah this would work you know he used the grenade the grenade took up all the oxygen and that's why it would probably it was going to affect how because the oxygen is gone so the question here is how was he able to counteract it now i'm sure we're going to get an answer in the next episode the thing that he did there it probably looks like he kind of fused with the spirit of fire i'm not sure what he did like you know like just a sec let me just check him out again yeah he there's like an aura a red aura going and he has long hair he has the i don't know no, he already always had long hair. <laughs> what am I even saying? <laughs> like, like you know, looking at him like this, he kind of looks different. But I think it's same. Like, you know, like he's still the same as he was before. I think probably the way he's standing, you know, like, like the aura and everything probably looks makes it feel as if he looks different here. But I think he's kind of the same. The only thing that's different here is the aura that's going. No and uh, yeah yeah i think that's it like you know when and in that scene i thought that oh my god he changed completely and now that i look at him again and i am like nah he, he has not changed his appearance is still the same it's just that he you know he's taking off the the whole the thing that he was wearing the the jacket thing not jacket like what is that 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 thing that he was wearing that uh in his neck you know that cape thing uh, he just took that off and otherwise i can see that everything is kind of the same his hair is long it's just that his hair is flowing now and yeah and this like you know he, he really looks like you completely especially the eyes you know the eyes and the hairstyle in a way as well so yeah that really shows us that he's the ancestor and yeah so one thing that this kind of did this episode like you know the, them sacrificing themselves is that it probably is going to answer a few questions about how like how was he able to get out of that mess it's going to answer that now as i said like you know like these will probably help the other ex-law members to make a viable workable strategy after this so that they can tackle how even better that's what's going to happen but i don't know how much this will help because it seems how like i'm sure how has still a few more things under his sleeve this is not it you know so yeah like that's this is, this is a very uh, i don't know very yeah this whole way of like you know this whole thing that they're doing sacrificing their teammates to get out information it is kind of uh i don't know yeah unproduct in, unproductive in a way and it's also not like you know like you're losing life like this so and i, I guess they don't have anything else like what can they even do in this situation you know like 
Yeah, like they they are not people who will forfeit if they see that they're going to die. They're not people like that. They're here for a reason. Their goal is defeating how even if they die. Like that's their conviction. So yeah, like uh, this is probably the only way, I guess. It's kind of sad to think about it. Like because, you know, like for their goal, they have to sacrifice themselves so that the other people can carry that on. And they might also die, but you know, yeah, this is the only way. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. Like, I'm I'm quite curious as to how Yo is going to react in the next episode. You know, he looks pretty pissed off. But I know that Yo is not an impulsive character. He he knows how to like you know hold it in. So I wonder what he's going to do next. And. Uh, yeah, and we didn't even get to see the other character's power like opacho like i think opacho uh, is like a oracle or something like you know like probably uh like they said something like that it probably uh gives out uh div divination divinations or like tells the future or something probably has some kind of clairvoyance power or something like that she has and we still don't know about the guy you know and yeah so that's still a mystery not only how like like you know we, we're just looking at how and I, I think we're probably forgetting about the other characters i'm sure they themselves have something up their sleeves as well so not only how we should also probably keep an eye on the other teammates of how you know because they are pretty strong as well so like like you know like that's why like not like we should not only like focus on how these two characters that ne didn't do anything their their strength are still hidden we don't know what they can do so they in the future might pose a problem for our characters so we don't even know how strong they are so yeah my god okay so that was this episode um yeah now my impression what can i say like you know like as i said the x laws I'm still kind of skeptical about them the way that they're doing things is obviously not the way you should do stuff but as i said like they don't have any choice they have to do it like this it seems as if but you know like but at the same time they they look like you know the things that they are doing like they're they're putting their lives on the line to do this like i cannot say anything bad about that obviously like you know like like they are putting their lives on the line that's something that is that takes a lot of courage and nobility to do so that way they really have my respect in a way you know like they they are putting their own lives in the hands of their comrades in a way you know like even if i die you know i'm sure my comrades will carry it on and we will get our uh you know uh, what do you call it justice against how like it's something like that so in that way it the, the way they're doing it it is noble in a way it takes a lot of courage and determination but at the same time you know it's still a bit too extreme so for for me like you know the xlos are kind of still in a neutral position i i like you know like i i don't have anything else to say like it's, it's some things that they're doing are not according to my at least my sense of morality is not according to that and some things that they're doing according to me is very good and noble so it's kind of like that, like you know, they're like, like in both sides and like in a balanced position. So yeah, they're kind of neutral. Obviously, like I like the way like mm, Yo is doing Yo does stuff. I'm really I really respect that in a way. The way Yo actually handles things. That's why obviously Yo has my full support. And I still am not completely sure about how because how like you know it kind of seemed as if like you know the way the the, the line that he said that what did you say like I'll, I'll i'll take you to hell or something uh and how said something like i've been bored of hell or something like that that probably <clears throat> shows that he like you know like he has gotten like you know has gone through a lot of probably a lot of stuff and that's why you know like the thing that he's doing it seems as if like that is like you know he's like we can we can see like one part of the story here he's killing all the characters we don't even know what his goal is you know we don't even know that so unless and until we get more information about how i still have like you know i'm, I'm not able to say any kind of like form any kind of impression on him because i feel as if his goal is something that 
none of us expect expect you know like it seems as if he's doing this stuff for some kind of goal like you know some kind of cheap goal like world domination but it is not i can feel that and i probably it i i i'm sure like you know when they're probably going to explain to us what his goal is and what his main end goal is it is probably going to surprise us because i feel as if it's something different completely it's not something that at least i'm thinking or at least we are thinking about so that's why you know like that's why i can't still i can't say anything about how so yeah like that's why like you know how and the x laws are neutral at least in my like, you know sense how i still have no opinion i'm not forming any opinion on him and obviously yo is like in the main character so obviously i'm going to support him you know so yeah let's see let's see how this goes because as i said how yeah there are a lot of secrets and i feel as if his end goal is something that at least i do not at least most of us who is watching this for the first time do not expect at all i feel like it's something like that let's wait for it you know let's wait and see what how this goes and I'm, i think like most probably like you know everything is going to come to light when uh, uh, yo and how fights but that's probably going to happen a long time later on you know so this is this is the 24th episode yeah i think this uh this anime is going to have like 50 52 episodes so we, we're kind of at the halfway point i'm thinking we're probably going to get the main like you know battle with how versus yo something like that i think we're probably going to get that at like the uh how much 45 46 episode kind of like something like that we're going to have that fight along along that time and yeah like still probably long way later uh, and yeah i'm i'm really excited like you know excited to see the future battles and all the different characters powers as well so yeah let's let's wait for it so that's it guys thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to shaman king episode number 24 so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll definitely check them out so yeah that's it guys thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next week with another episode of shaman king so uh, so until then goodbye and have a nice day